take one. Action. I honestly feel like the story is very is very interesting from the perspective of uh, this idea of um, are these people in the right, are they in the wrong? Um, so we approach the story with we've got terrorists, as they were, breaking into this building and they've got guns and they're holding up these people and they're really doing something which I can see being on the news as this terrible, horrible thing. But we, the story is set in sort of a two years in the future, things are sort of going down the tubes and someone needs to tell the truth. Someone needs to speak on the national television and say, this is what's really happening because our information is so polluted. And that speaks to an issue that we have today. And I think it's a really interesting ethical paradigm which I like to play with a little bit, which is who really is in the right here? Is it okay? Or do the ends justify the means? Are these extreme, ridiculous, awful people doing the right thing? And it, it's fascinating too, because there are really um, characters like Byron, for example, the thing that really, really I latched onto was this idea of battles of egos. So like Byron, on some level, everything he's doing, even though he has his heart in the right place and his goal is to achieve things and to save the world, it's about his ego too. It's about him wanting to be the messiah to these people almost in this weird way. And that kind of ultimately motivates his decision to walk out in front of a crowd and like have this moment. And he wants to be that. web series is very different from a uh, like short film. It's, you need to know how to cooperate with others to make a good web series. Like you talk with DPs, you talk to the directors of other episodes, you learn a lot. so amazing because like I never worked with American actor before but in, for this class I got a lot of chance to talk with my actors and from that experience I could learn how to deal with the actors on the set it's a pretty good experience that's good teaching for me character in some level falls into that little that little niche like green he, all of this is about his ego he wants to achieve great things and become like a great speaker in TV and uh, like move on from this like nowhere job on television and I think it's really fascinating to see how these different ideas of people and where they've got different sort of ideas of where their ego will take them and how they play against each other and how that impacts the idea of we've got <laughs> this dichotomy of whether they're in the right in the first place and so that's the thing I think that was really drew me to this, this concept was the fact that it was um, this idea of uh, who's in the right and also f the, the specific characters and how they color that issue and how they complicate things. Today was a whole different experience shooting uh, the commercial for Wonder Sprout. One of the actors I've directed before, I also had him as a teacher before, so I know him. The other woman was completely, you know, somebody I had just met. She was wonderful, but um, I didn't know what to expect. You know, like, like uh, when I found out that she was in uh, hair and makeup, I'm like, well, what if she's a, you know, a nightmare to work with? And, but she, she was wonderful. But I kind of like the, you know, I'm a very personable person, so I like to kind of, you know, I like to get to know people when I'm working with them. So I love the fact that this whole crew, I mean, it's almost like they've been working together for, you know, years. Like this is a, a TV show that's in its fifth season or something. Um, I mean, they're laughing, cracking jokes in between, you know, takes, and it was, it was fun. Yeah.